What's up, everybody? This is Marzi, and I'm back here with another Reddit store. And in this Reddit store, this one's gonna be a crazy one, a little bit of a family one, but it still revolves around cheating, relationship advice. But this is necessarily coming from the kids' perspective, right? So this one, this one is gonna be a little bit, a little bit crazy. But before we end up jumping right into it, make sure you guys end up leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and join me on this journey. I'm on the road to 1,100 subscribers now because I already made it to 1K, y'all. So I'm lit. But now we gotta get 100 more subscribers, and I'm gonna just keep going up like that um, for my goals because I don't want to set them too high too low i'm so happy that i finally made it but let's jump right into this video make sure that you guys watch all the way to the end and that you share this video to other people so other people can come join me on this journey as well we read reddit stories every day except for sundays so let's jump right into it am i the a-hole for telling my dad cheating is what god is here not my mom oh okay so just based on that title dad is out here blaming you know what i'm saying dad is out here blaming and he ain't blaming the right person is what's going on I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure dad is the one who cheated based on that title. My parents divorced. Whoa, that word came out really weird. My parents divorced when I was seven after my mom found out dad had been cheating on her. Hold on. For five years. Damn. With who? With someone she considered to be her friend. Man. Like, my thing is cheating when you're not married, right? I'm not saying it's justified, but it's the little dip, a little bit different, right? Because you're already doing like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different. But when you cheat and you're married and you bring the kids into it, like y'all had that little happy family, and then you cheat on her with someone she considered a friend, man, that is devious, man. That that, <laughs> that is just it's, it's evil. It's evil. You could have chose anybody. There's so many other people in this world, or you could have chose to be faithful to your damn wife, right? That's like what's going on. Crazy. The reveal of the affair came during my birthday party. Her seven-year-old birthday party. That is insane. Which we celebrated late because dad made up some story about an old friend dying and going to the funeral when he was actually with her for an ultrasound after learning she was pregnant. So he got her friend pregnant. This dad ain't shit. That's just what that is. Oh crap. My mom never got over what they did to her. I think what made it worse is two people betrayed her instead of one because it was our friends are willing to hurt us like this, then we're screwed. Oh, because if our friends are willing to hurt us like this, then we're screwed. I mean, I understand. This is a hard thing to get over, but you know, we got to heal at some point. I wonder how many years it's been. Um, my dad married his affair partner, of course, and they had six children together. So he married this friend, her own friend, now is building this relationship with her and had six kids that's crazy man that is a heart-wrenching man and you can't even get away from him because it's your father so i gotta stay near this dude so y'all can have a relationship i'll be pissed my mom has stayed away from them as long as much as humanly possible she told me a long time ago that she loved me wanted me to be happy and loved not to be distant from her, them for her but that she would never be able to play happy families with my dad and his wife and their kids because some hurts are too deep and painful to move on from that is so sad man I thought, I thought he was going to have cheated and either, you know, they were going to stay together or they would have broke up and he would have went his own way. But to actually start like a family with her, that's heart wrenching, man. That does take some time. That takes some time. When stay in place was ordered, things between my mom and dad deteriorated after my dad asked if mom would take his other six kids into her home. What? So the siblings could see each other since both he and his wife were for frontline workers and had planned to send them somewhere to limit their exposure mom said hell no of course hold on that that has nothing to do with the mom that's crazy to try and say take six of these kids because they are related to your one no that's wild and, and that's six kids and even if it was one kid nah i don't got to you're wild and especially for the the pain that's behind it you're crazy <laughs> Oh my goodness okay so mom said hell no she was pissed as hell at dad for asking while dad was pissed as hell that she didn't force me to go in his in-laws to spend time with my siblings while we weren't legally allowed to meet up with others okay things are the same now only my mom suffered less financially through the pandemic after a while my dad and his wife left their jobs when it got too much and their financial stability took a huge hit my dad can't afford to throw a graduation party for me which is fine but he and his family are not welcome to the one my mom is hosting he was being like bitching about them missing out on celebrating with me because of my mom i told him it was because of his affair and not my mom i would have said the same thing but i'm gonna listen brother you need to know this was you 
um and says that he was the one who betrayed her over and over again disrespected her and then expected her to act like none of that happened so he could act like the good guy he told me it had been a decade and my mom and i should be over it and i should not have taken sides i told him he should have kept the affair from me then instead of letting it come out for me to hear am i the a-hole um, someone put she put like an edit here but another element of this story is that the affair first started after my mom almost died losing my sibling oh so she has more kids okay losing my sibling the pregnancy went badly wrong and almost took her and did take oh never mind and did oh almost took her life and did take her chance to have more children that's sad all the while her husband and friend were getting together behind her back all right so if, if are you the a-hole no i don't think you're the a-hole based on this story um, I feel like your father did need a little bit of calling out, right? Because he's sitting there, he's disrespecting your mother, he's getting angry about her not allowing him to come to a graduation party and or her not helping with his six children. And I feel like for one, your mother is not meant to help. And if your dad continues to act like that, someone had to tell him and smack him in the face and be like, listen, this is your fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, which grant him, it is a hard thing to heal from and you can't necessarily tell someone you should have healed quick, right? So he can't be like, oh, y'all should have healed. This shouldn't be affecting y'all. No, that's not his place. But y'all should be getting help, right? Like this should be something that's being progressively healed on a daily basis or like, oh, not a daily because, you know, with therapy, but self-help therapy, family therapy, like between you and the mom, like just in case if there's anything going on there, um, and with the kids, you know, kids need therapy. If there is any more siblings or if you're the only one, like you need your therapy. And I personally feel like y'all need help, right? Because not saying because it's like strange that y'all are holding on to this for 10 years, but no, I understand that because it is a heart wrenching thing. And especially to see the person that she, that, you know, was your friend, he had an affair with and is sitting there, married her and had six kids with her, like had a family with her. That is crazy. You get what I'm saying? So, um, ultimately, it's just, it's not really, you can't really put a timing on healing, but I hope she's healing, right? Because if she's not healing and she's not trying to heal and she's not getting therapy, she's not doing self-help, she's not doing anything to try and heal this part of her, then it is kind of somewhat like, damn, like you, like she needs to work on that. Like she needs to heal from that um, and at least try to heal from that because it is a sad thing and it is a huge thing that can affect her. But like with the way that it's affecting her, you know, it is hard to play a huge happy family, but you know, at some point you need to get to that point, right? If she doesn't see that as her end goal, then it will never get there, right? Because she, you know, when you have a family with somebody else and then, you know, they move on, have their own family, you move on, you know, the best thing to do is try to make it a big happy family. And it's hard to do that because humans are corrupt, humans are vengeful, humans, they have that anger in them and it is hard to keep a family together. That's why the devil attacks families, man, because it is hard. So, what she really needs to do, like your mom, is she really needs to heal. It's particularly right now, yes, she can't heal from this just yet, right? She's not going to be like this and be like, oh, dad's coming to the graduation. No, she can't. She's still, she's still hurt. But she needs to right now, if she isn't trying to heal, try to heal and with self-help with therapy and eventually with that end goal of that point of like we will be a big happy family now she doesn't have to do nothing for your six siblings that's not her not being happy that's why your dad's particularly bringing that up is crazy that was wild of him but the graduation party though mm, i feel like you know he should at least be invited just because it is you know his uh uh you're his kid now inviting you know the other family like the friend and the kids i understand not wanting them to be invited you can invite the dad and if you want you can invite the kids but you know like if you still feel some type of way towards them but the dad should always be present if the dad doesn't want to show up because he doesn't he wants his family to be there then that's on the dad right because ultimately your family isn't her family so if she's like i'm throwing a graduation party you can come but i don't want your family coming that is a normal thing to say granted there should be a point where you are healed where you can have everyone come um but since you're not that healed yet you know he should be at least allowed to come because that is his kid uh so i feel like particularly with that situation i see why the dad is upset but it really does come down to he did destroy his own family but i would say that you're not the a-hole he definitely needed that to like smack his face but you also need to tell your mother if she's not getting the help she needs that she needs the help right because her end goal should be trying to have a big happy family even though it is separated it shouldn't be constant arguing and this isn't that because it's not good for you because like 
for instance like how your dad did say you ultimately did pick a side and it's not that the side you picked was a bad side but you picked a side and as the kid you shouldn't even be seeing that type of stuff or you shouldn't even be allowed to have input on that type of stuff or to you know what i'm saying like but since they're obviously arguing in front of you and these things and like you said the thing that your dad revealed in front of you is bad on both your parents um that's why both your parents need to come together and really just not let it be that way y'all both they both need to heal um you know because your father you know the difference with him is that he's he needs to heal in the way of he needs to understand that he was the cause and that the anger he's receiving is is necessarily justified but that she does need to heal right so it is like a like he needs to also take accountability which is why i'm not upset with you revealing such thing to him because he needed to hear that um but let's just get to these comments we have not a whole your dad has some bloody audacity oh i cheated on you with your friend now take and my six kids with her why do you even still speak to this guy op responded saying mostly because my mom has encouraged it up till now but since turning 18 i've considered dropping the rope and having nothing to do with them i can't say i enjoy having them in my life it was just one of those things you do because it's expected for the most part i'm over it um, someone put not the a-hole i thought the first part was bad enough but then got to the part where your dad wanted your mom to look after her six kids one of which was conceived while he was still married to your mom carried crazy he's incredibly insensitive that's that's it he needs to work on being insensitive he has no like he is not relating there's no sympathy for this dude like he does not care about your mom at all he does not care that he hurt her at all like that's where he needs to work on as a man and he clearly doesn't ever i mean he clearly doesn't think he did anything wrong good for you for sticking up for your mom and not taking your dad's bs op responded saying that's not even the worst part the worst part is the affair started after my mom lost my sibling and became unable to have more children she almost died and my dad went and effed one of her friends and out of her friends effed her husband and one of her friends effed her husband while my mom was grieving and recovering someone put the thing that gets me is the reveal of the affair came during my birthday party when i found out that my wife had been cheating with five other guys in the last eight months it was a couple of weeks before my son's sixth birthday so i waited until two weeks past his birthday i didn't want his parents to forever be tainted as the day that his parents broke up i mean he, he didn't want his birthday to forever be tainted as the day his parents broke up yeah that because that is kind of sad um op responded saying okay i'll add to that post i think dad probably would have found someone else if wife number two had became infertile so basically what she's trying to say is that she thinks her dad left her mom specifically because she couldn't have kids she couldn't have kids and instead of being sympathetic and, and being around her holding her he decided to be like okay i'm gonna go hold somebody else and have a kid with her and if she can't have kids then i'm going to the next one that's what dad's doing dad don't care about love dad just want children that's what's going on that's crazy so i'm gonna put not the a-hole you're completely correct about this he told me it had been a decade and my mom and I should be over it. Ugh, who is your dad to tell someone else how long they can grieve for? He destroyed your mom's life. F him, he made his bed and now he can sleep in it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. All right, I'm gonna end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys end up leaving a like, comment, subscribe.